New information tonight into the violent crash of a Detroit fire engine at a gas station on Detroit's east side. It's not the first time either. Tim Pamplin was the first crew there on the scene last night and he spent the day today working to try to figure out why it happened again at the exact same intersection. They've been busy cleaning up at the Citgo station at DeQuinda and State Fair all afternoon. The singed gas pump laying near the trash. Let's get to the video that's got Detroit talking. Look at this. The navigator had a green light, the fire truck proceeding through a red, their collision creating chaos. People just start running like it was going to be an explosion. Let's go back a year and a half. Same location, same fire crew, same situation. Why is this happening? We took a drive. We came northbound on DeQuinda. This is the path the civilian vehicles are traveling. The fire trucks are coming from right to left. Let's pause the tape right there. The Coney Island on the right is creating a blind spot. The firefighters can't see what's coming northbound. The civilians can't see what's coming westbound. And this is the result. Here's last night's collision from another angle. If you look on the top left, it does appear the traffic lights are red for the fire truck. A legal expert says, wait a second. So the law permits them to do that, but has a caveat that they can only go through a red light if it's safe to do so. Now, just in the last hour, the Detroit Fire Department sent us this statement. Grateful that there were no serious injuries, that the crash is under investigation, and the department is aware of a previous accident at the same intersection. A report will be forwarded to traffic and engineering for review. The bottom line, if you're in the area of DeQuinda and State Fair, pay extra attention, especially if you hear emergency sirens. That's the scene on the east side. Tim Pamplin, Local 4.